With Photoshop's new dynamic text feature, your text automatically reflows as you resize or reshape the bounding box. It's flexible, fully editable, and incredibly easy to use. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about this long overdue addition to Photoshop. Honestly, I can't believe it wasn't here sooner. This is one of those features that was long overdue. With any type layer selected, click the new dynamic text icon, the T with the lightning bolt, found in the options bar, or you can right click on the layer and choose convert to dynamic text. Once activated, you'll also see the T with the lightning bolt icon appear in the text layer thumbnail inside the layers panel, which by the way, the tooltip reads magic text layer when you hover over it. To adjust the text, click inside the text layer to reveal the bounding box. Drag the handles to resize or reshape it. The text inside will automatically reflow based on the new dimensions and orientation. If you need to move the text layer while the bounding box is active, hold Ctrl and Windows, that's Command on the Mac, and drag. Best of all, the text stays fully editable. Standard text keyboard shortcuts and features will still work. And there are two new settings exclusive to Dynamic Text. Let me show you how it all works. Dynamic text automatically adds line breaks to the text based on the width of the text box. Sometimes you may want to insert manual line breaks for readability or to keep a word on its own line. For example, to keep the word Photoshop on its own line, highlight the space after the word and press Enter on Windows, that's Return on the Mac. Then do the same before the word. Photoshop will now preserve those manual line breaks so the word always appears on its own line, regardless of how wide you make the text box. Also, here's a tip. To scale the text layer without affecting the width of the text box and its contents, commit the changes by pressing Control enter on Windows, that's Command return on the Mac. Then press the V key to enable the move tool and drag the corner handles to scale. By the way, if you don't see the corner handles, that's because you have Show Transform Controls unchecked in the options bar. If you do, then press Control T or Command T to transform, and that will enable the bounding box. But I prefer to simply enable this checkbox. By the way, if you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe. Let's now talk about formatting dynamic text. For that, you can use the contextual taskbar, options bar, properties panel, or character panel to make your adjustments. For example, you can change the font. Start by highlighting the text. I'll use the taskbar. And from this dropdown, I'll select a different font. Now I can highlight another piece of text and click on this swatch to change the color. But note that the font size is dynamic. You can't adjust it manually. The font size is calculated based on the bounding box size. Just like any other text layer, you can use the formatting keyboard shortcuts that have been around in Photoshop for decades. You can highlight your text and press Control Shift on Windows, that's Command Shift on the Mac, in one of these keys to apply the formatting. Control Shift B to bold, I to italicize, U to underline, the forward slash key to strike through, K to make all caps, H to make small caps. And to remove all formatting, you can press Control A to select all text and Control Shift Y to remove all formatting. This shortcut removes the formatting. It didn't change back the font or color, only these formatting options. But notice how bold and italicized remain. That's because when you use a font that has a true bold weight or italics, Photoshop will switch to it instead of applying a faux bold or faux italic, which is basically like changing the font, which is why the keyboard shortcut didn't affect it. So if you want to change it, select regular from this dropdown. To adjust the space between two characters, insert the cursor between those characters and adjust the kerning from the properties panel. But I prefer to use the keyboard shortcut. Hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and tap on the left or right arrow keys to decrease or increase the spacing between the two characters. Kerning helps create better visual balance between characters. To change the tracking or the space between all characters, press the escape key to exit the edit mode. Or you can also click the cancel icon from the options bar. Then use the tracking drop down in the properties panel to decrease or increase the spacing of all the characters. 
You can also click inside the text box to activate it, select the word, and use the tracking dropdown to control the spacing of the text in the selection. And if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, press Shift Alt in the left and right arrow keys on Windows or Shift Option in the left and right arrow keys on the Mac to decrease or increase the spacing of the selected text. This shortcut only works when text is selected, not for global text spacing. Now let's look at some features specifically for dynamic text. To control the space between words, use the word gap setting in the dynamic text section of the properties panel. First, press the escape key to disable the edit mode, then go into the dropdown. This setting works in percentages and only affects spaces between words. Look at how much space there is between words at the 200% setting. Here's the tip. With most Photoshop numeric dropdowns or sliders, you can hover over the label, then when you see the double-sided arrow, you can click and drag to adjust the setting. You can drag to the left to decrease and to the right to increase the value. I'll use this method going forward. Now let's look at the line gap option in the dynamic text section of the properties panel. It controls the global space between lines. Line gap also uses percentages. Zero creates tight lines and a larger value creates more space. This replaces the traditional letting control, which doesn't work with dynamic text. To change the spacing between specific lines of text, you can select the line of text you want to adjust and click the three dot icon in the properties panel to reveal more text options, including the baseline shift dropdown. Then you can decrease or increase the amount of space. Notice that we can place the selected line below the bottom line. It does not push the lines below with it. To move both lines at the same time, you can highlight both and then use the baseline shift dropdown to move them simultaneously. Or you can move them by using this keyboard shortcut. Shift Alt and the up and down arrow keys on Windows. Those are the shift option and up down arrow keys on the Mac. And if you made it this far, like and subscribe.